Hi everyone. Um, as some of you might know, um, I've been talking about using the ELAD FDM Duo on a de expedition for quite a long time. Um, but of course, that means powering it um, without a main supply. Um, you probably remember that I built a sort of cheap power supply battery pack for the Wellbrook. There it is over there, which is working really well. Um, I've used it several times now and still on the same set of batteries, but I guess the the Wellbrook amp doesn't require a lot of power. Um, so, although it's possible to buy batteries, rechargeable batteries that you can do, use for this purpose, um, the FDM Duo operates on 13.8 volts, and when I was looking around Maplin, they had every conceivable 12 volt rechargeable battery that you can think of, but um, nothing at 13.8 or close. So for basically about five or six pounds, um, I bought some C cell battery holders. Um, and so nine C cell batteries gets you 13 and a half volts. Um, lashed it together. Um, and oh, I also bought a connector, um, which is the same actually as the Wellbrook uh, connector. Um, and as you can now see, we now have power to the ELAD, which means that um, for yeah five or six pounds you know there's now the option of taking the ELAD out on the expeditions and then there's other options after that because it means that you can use it on its own um, just as a receiver running on batteries um, but also I can take it out with the computer um, and use it as a sort of full SDR uh, out in the woods um, with little or no QRM. So I'm excited to do that. I think the first thing I'm going to try is just take it on its own. Um, and maybe I'll take the 2001D um, and just see how they compare. Um, what I've also done is created this monstrosity, which is actually a kind of deployable 200 meter uh, long wire. Um, and so I thought for the first outing with the ELAD, I'd try it with a long wire um, and use the same antenna with the Sony 2001D, or actually I might even take the SW77, either, either one. Um, because we already know halfway through that particular test, you know, they're kind of neck and neck. Uh, the 2001 may be showing signs of being slightly uh, better, superior in terms of performance, but it's you know close. So um, so anyway, so uh, one of the kind chaps at Maplin gave me an empty spool, um, and I've literally take, bought 200 meter spools of what they call equipment wire, um, wound the first one onto this large spool, and then soldered it to the next 100 uh, meter uh, length. Um, insulated it with some heat shrink and connected just a BNC bayonet type connector um, which I can uh, connect to the back of the ELAD with this cable that I'd already made. Um, what I also did, did at the other end was terminate it with one of these kind of like push fit plugs because um, I've actually got the other bits and pieces, um, resistors and what have you, to convert this long wire into a uh, grounded uh, beverage so to make it highly directional something I haven't got around to doing yet but um, you know 200 meters you know is going to be resonant at you know two wavelengths more than two wavelengths for 90 meters so you know obviously you have to be careful because you know I, I think I've demonstrated pretty well that you know you 100 meter long wire can be used in certain parts of the tropical bands, in quiet parts of the band at least, with portables. Um, and I'm going to try this with the ELAD uh, tonight. Um, but I'll also take the, well, either the 2001D or the SW77 and um, make a comparison. But um, so, uh, so there you go. So that's basically the setup. Um, I'm quite excited to see what the uh, ELAD can do. It's in terms of its features, things like sync, etc., and ECSS um, are not an option with the standalone receiver. Um, so you know, not all of the reception modes will be available. But 
I think is just a sort of bare bones test for the unit as it was a standalone unit and compare it to one of my top portables it will still be interesting so um so that's what I'm going to do later. Uh, in the meantime, the uh, other reception videos I have comparing the 2001D to the um, SW77 will keep coming through. Um, I'll start uploading the second half of, that, of those videos um, either tomorrow or for early next week. Well, thanks for watching um, and I'll uh, look forward to your comments on my videos. Thanks.